The next speaker is Maritza Garcia Toro, coping with caregiving, early onset familial Alzheimer's E280A mutation. If I ask you to think about Alzheimer, you might think in old people losing their memory and other cognitive functions. But what if I told you there is a type of Alzheimer that affects younger people, people who begin to show symptoms at age 40. Early onset Alzheimer is rare, however, the largest population cluster in the world with this disease has been identified in Antioquia, Colombia, and it's caused by the E280A genetic mutation. This mutation is hereditary and affects extensive genealogies. It's estimated that 5,000 people carry this mutation throughout the country. We have families living with this disease for several generations. We care about patients, but we also care about caregivers who frequently are relatives, not specialized staff. In this particular case, patient care falls on healthy relatives or relatives who have not yet clinically manifested the condition. Think about it for a moment. Your dad is sick, and you know that you have a big chance to develop the same disease in the future. You must care for him. How does this affect you? Or you are married with a man who carries the mutation. Eventually, you will end, you will carry for your husband, and later on, you will end up caring for your son with the same disease. It's a really difficult situation. This study aims to examine the dimensions that can act as mediators of the perception of burden, anxiety, and depression among this population. This research is allowing us to access interpretations and construction of meaning around the experience of caregiving. We, al we have already come across interesting findings. For example, when in a family there's a long tradition of caregiving, they develop their own techniques and strategies and they pass this knowledge from one generation to the next. This helps them to take on this situation in a better way, so they feel less stressed, anxious, or depressed. Some of them um, experience uh, grateful feelings and thoughts associated with caregiving, such as feeling useful, grateful, strong, and courageous in the face of adversity. We hope the result of this research will allow us to expand our understanding of the psychological universe of the family caregivers to design better support programs according to their profile so we can prevent they become ill too. Thank you. <laughs>